All right, everyone, in this video, we are going to be looking at how to add a highlight effect to the SVG icons in the footer when we hover over them. All right, so you can see down here we have our SVG icons, and let me just zoom in a little bit. So we have our SVG icons down here, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding this hover effect over the SVG icons. So we're going to change the fill color of them from the text color to the accent color. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Now to do that, we're going to go to the highlight SVGs on hover post right here. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. All right, so this is what we're going to be doing. So we're now ready to add a highlight effect when hovering over the SVG icons. And the method we'll be using doesn't require a lot of styling, but it does require us to edit the fill attribute of the SVG icons. And we'll demonstrate how to edit the fill attribute by manually editing the files, as well as using a command line interface or CLI command provided by View, View Press plugin SVG icons, which will automate the process and optimize the file. So this is the plugin that we used to set up the icons in the footer in a previous tutorial. All right, so like I mentioned, we're going to be looking at manually editing the file, and we're going to look at an icon example. So we'll be looking at one of the icons in the footer, and then we're going to look at how to apply the icon styles to it. And then we're going to look at how to automate the editing and we're going to look at that CLI command and then we're going to take a look at the optimized icon. So after we run the CLI command, we're going to look at how it optimizes the SVG icon. All right. So that's what we'll be doing. And you want to make sure that you start your local development server, which should be running at localhost port 8080 to see the changes we'll be making to the site. And if the changes aren't appearing after you save them, then you want to try restarting your local development server. So if you come over here, you can see that I have it running at port 8080. And if you come over to this terminal, I have it running right down here in this terminal. All right, so you also want to make sure that when adding the styling updates, you want to make sure that you add each block of code below one at a time to your project, then view the changes in the browser to get a better understanding of what each block is responsible for. And then you can view all of the code in this tutorial by going to the tutorial 12 branch of the code monkeys block tutorials repository. So you can come right here, you can go to the tutorial 12 branch, and then you can get all of the code that we'll be using in this video. All right. All right. So let's begin by manually editing one of the icon files. So when we downloaded the icons from icon font, we downloaded them with a fill attribute, which will override the color reset for the hover effect. So to fix this issue, we can manually remove the fill attribute from each icon file. So this is our icon example. So we'll use the github.svg file as an example. So this is our github.svg file with the fill attribute. So you can see here that we have our SVG. We have all of these different attributes associated with it. And then if you come down here, you can see that we have the fill attribute that gets set when we download the icon. So what we want to do is we want to remove that fill attribute since it's, over, since it's going to override any styling that we set for the SVG. So if you come over here, if I was to open up another terminal and you can see we're on the CodeMonkeys block tutorials repository and we're on the tutorial 12 branch. And then if I was to list out the contents, you can see we have our docs directory. So we'll go in there, we'll list out. We wanna go into the icons directory and then we want to open up the github.svg file. So we'll open that up and then we'll search for the fill attribute. And then we want to remove that from the file. So then what we'll do is we'll save the file. And now what we'll do is we'll come over here. And this is what the file is going to look like after we remove that fill attribute. So we have our SVG tag right over here with all these different attributes being the same with that fill that's removed. Now, a quick little note here on that SVG file formatting up here. So the files above have been formatted to make them easier to read for this post. Just open this up. Now the contents in your file may all be on one line like you saw when I edited that github.svg file. So if this is the case, just scroll until you find the fill attribute or search for the fill or search for fill in the file to be able to easily find and remove it like I just did in that file. All right, so now we've removed the fill attribute from our github.svg file. So now what we want to do is we want to style the icon. So now that we've removed the fill attribute from the file, we can add the styling to highlight the icon when hovering over it. So this is what the footer.view file is going to look like after adding the hover effect. So over here, I have the footer.view file. 
And if you scroll down to the style tag in here, you could see this is what we want to set. So over here, I have the footer.view file open. I'll just close this terminal. And if we scroll down to the style tag right here, we want to add this line. So I'll copy this over and we want to add that underneath the icons. So we'll paste that in and then we'll save that. Now, what this is doing is we have this SVG hover and this applies the hover pseudo class to the SVG selector, which will apply the styles to find inside of it when the user hovers their pointer over the SVG tag. So this is when the user is going to hover their pointer over the, the icon in the footer. It's going to apply this style inside of it, which is the fill accent color. And this changes the fill of the SVG tag to be the accent color. So this will update the fill of the SVG to be the accent color when the user hovers over the icon in the footer. All right, so now if we come over to the site and we may have to, and let's restart the local development server to see the changes. So we'll restart that. And if you come over to the site, all right, so let's open this up. I'll zoom in a little bit. So now you can see that we're applying this hover effect to this SVG down here, and you can see that it's being applied whether or not we hover over it. All right, so we're going to be fixing this shortly. And all of these other SVGs, still when you hover over them, it's just using the fill attribute that's set in the SVG file. All right, so we will be updating this value, the fill value when we're not hovering over it, so then we can apply the hover effect correctly. All right, so notice the icon fill is now set to be the accent color even when you're not hovering over the icon. And this is because we haven't set a fill attribute value for when the user isn't hovering over the icon, so it falls back to the value set in SVG hover. So to fix this issue, we'll add the filing styling to the footer.view file. So if you come down over here to the style tag, what we wanna do is we wanna add this style right here. So we'll add this above the hover. So if we come over to our file, we paste that in, and then we want to save that. All right, so right here, the SVG is the selector used to target the icon. So to target the icon in the footer, and then this fill text color sets the fill of the SVG to be the text color when the user isn't hovering over the icon. All right, so the fill should now be the same as the text color when you're not hovering over the icon, and it should get set to be the accent color when you hover over the icon. All right, so if we come back over here. You can see that our fill color is the text color now when we're not hovering over it. And then when we hover over it, it now has the accent color. So if we inspect the page and if we inspect this icon, you can see that right over here we have our fill color that gets set. And this is the value of the text color. And then if we apply a hover to it, you can see right down here, this is the hover color that gets set. All right, so now the, the fill should now be the same as the text color when you're hovering over the icon, and it should get set to that accent color. Um, or when you're not hovering over the icon, it should be the text color, and when you hover over it, you should have that accent color. All right. So to set the hover effect for the other icons, you will need to remove the fill attribute from the other icon files. So you'll need to manually go into each one of those icon files and remove the fill attribute because you can see over here that when you hover over these icons, they still are the value that's set in the SVG. So it's overriding the fill color that we set and it's overriding the hover color that we set. Now, if you have any questions about the CSS discussed above, then you can check out these resources. So we have one on pseudo classes and one on the hover pseudo class specifically. And then we have one for an SVG attribute reference. So when you're looking at the SVG file, if you wanted to learn more about the attributes in there, you could come to this article. And then we have one specifically on the fill attribute. And then you can also check out this CSS tricks post if you're interested in learning about other ways to change the fill on hover. So you can come to this post right here if you want to learn about that. Now, instead of manually editing each file, we can use the CLI command provided by ViewPress plugin SVG icons to automate the process. So this will, this means that we won't have to manually edit every single file. So we can use this script right here 
which will remove that fill attribute from the SVG file as well as optimize our SVG files. All right, so the CLI commanded by the ViewPress plugin SVG icons optimizes SVG files by removing a lot of redundant and useless information, which includes the fill attribute. So the plugin does this by integrating SVGO, which stands for Scalable Vector Graphic Optimizer and is a Node.js based tool for optimizing SVG files. So you can come here to check out SVGO if you're interested in learning more about it. Now here is the CLI command. So here's the CLI command you need to run. So you need to run this command right here, view press SVGO, and then this docs directory right here, where this docs directory is the docs directory for your site, which in our case is just docs. So you can add the CLI command to the scripts object in your package.json file. So if you come over here, here's our package.json file. We want to add this script to our scripts object. So we're going to open up our package.json file. And then what we want to do is we want to add in this script right here. So let's add that and I'll backspace that. Then we'll save this file. So this gives us that script that we can run. And then we can run it using yarn or npm. So if you want to run it using yarn, you would use this command right here. If you want to run it using npm, you would run this command right here. All right, so let's now run the command. So if I open up a terminal and what we want to do, and we'll just go back out to our main directory right here and we'll clear. So what we want to do is we want to run this command. So we'll copy this over and then we'll paste it in and then we'll run it. Okay, let's see. Yep, I didn't add a comma right here. So you want to add a comma to the file. And now let's see if we run the command. Okay, so you can see that SVGO optimized the SVG icons for us. All right, so after running the script, the SVG files will be optimized, which includes removing that fill attribute from the files. So the hover effect should now be applied to each icon, assuming you added the styling from the section above. So if we come back over here, and if we open this up, now we may have to, let's see if we refresh the page here. All right, so let's restart our local development server. We'll close out of that, come down here, and we'll restart the local development server. So this should, Hopefully now if we refresh and we come over, yep. All right, so now you can see that we have our text color when we're not hovering over the icons. And then when we hover over the icons, it now changes the fill color to be the accent color that we set in our footer.view file. All right, so again, if you were to inspect these, so if we inspected this icon right here, you can see we have that fill color that's being set, which is the text color. And then if we add our hover to it, you can see that we get that hover effect. And there is the accent color for the fill that we set on hover. All right. So now if you have any questions or you want to learn more about the plugin, then you can check out the guide right here. So this is the guide for the ViewPress plugin SVG icons. So you have how to install it, how to use it, different ways to configure it. And then all the way down here, you have the CLI command right down here which is what we just set. All right. So you can also check out that SVGO uh, repository right here if you want to learn more about the optimization tool, including CLI usage, configuration, API usage, etc. So you can come here and you can check out all of this information about the SVGO optimizer right here. All right. So this is our optimized icon example. So here's the contents of the optimized github.svg file. So if you were to open up this file right now, then it would look like this. So you could see now we just have the view box and this XM LNS value right here. And then you could see that we just have this path being set with the D right there being set equal to all of this and all of those other attributes, it removed all of them. All right, so if you came back up 
to our icon example up here, you can see we have all of this extra information in the SVG file, including that fill attribute. And it just removed all of that information for us. All right, so again, this file, just like the other ones, has been formatted to make it easier to read for this post, but the contents in your file may all be on one line if you open it up. All right, so just be aware of that when you're looking through. It may not be in the nicest format in your text editor, which is why we formatted it this way for you right here on the blog post. Now, if you compare the optimized file with the original file like we just did, then you'll notice a lot of unnecessary information was removed, including the fill attribute without affecting the rendering of the icons. So you can see over here that we have all the icons rendering appropriately with the hover effect being applied to all of them. All right. So in this video, we went over how to manually edit our SVG icons to remove that fill attribute. And we looked at our icon example. We looked specifically at the github.svg file. Then we looked at how to add the icon styles in the footer.view file. So our hover style right there, and then our fill color when we're not hovering over it. And then we looked at automated editing. So how to remove the fill attribute from all of the files without having to manually go into each file to remove it. And we did that by using this CLI command right here provided by the ViewPress plugin SVG icons. And we added the script to our package.json file and then we ran it. And then we looked at our optimized icon example. All right, so it removed a lot of unnecessary and redundant information for us that we don't need and the icons still render correctly. All right, so in the next tutorial, we'll be styling the nav bar by updating the background color, the height, the border, etc. So if you come over here, you can see the nav bar up here, it still has the white background. So we're going to be changing, changing that background coloring as well as applying some other styles to it. All right, and we'll see you in the next video.